All right. Session nine, impossible landscapes. <sighs> Last we left off in session eight, we fast forward the timeline 20 years <clears throat> to 28 of August, 2015, Boston area, where we f run into agents Mantillo, Maya, and Mignon, um, a.k.a. Jerry Gladstone. AKA, oh my God, I got to relook up everybody's original names. Um, Lupita Canita and Antio Perez. Perez. What was her per, met Perez? What was her first name? Uh, I couldn't remember it last week. Last <laughs> time. Characters uh, I, I, this, I'm getting deja vu right now. <laughs> yeah. Samantha Perez. Samantha Sam. Perez. Sam. 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 Uh, yeah, see? What do you mean Perez. I can't remember my own name? As soon as someone tells yeah. it to me, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. And it has been quite some time since we've used the real names. Not that that's going to, that probably won't change. <laughs> But it's been 20 years since the events in New York City where the McAllister building was burned to the ground and some, and some occurrences had occurred. And obviously now in Boston with Jerry Gladstone, author, self-published author, has how he many- He has an agent. He has an agent, <laughs> but has written a Billy few- high five at davesellsbooks.com. That's right. <laughs> Never met him, but he's a good guy. That's right. It's the best. <laughs> and while on a book signing in Boston, ends up get, getting an envelope from FedEx. And with Lupita Canita, a.k.a. Agent Maya, who is still in the agent uh, U.S. Marshal Service, if I'm not mistaken. She is, yeah. And it's Canetta, sir. Canetta. God, I apologize, Canetta. It's okay. It's a different dialect. It is. I come from northern Mexico, not southern Mexico. Okay. I'll accept that. Yeah, she's been a marshal this whole time. And um, she also receives an envelope from FedEx in Boston. Remind me why you're in Boston. She lives there. She is trying to get some distance from her squeeze who eventually rejected That's her. That's right. And decided to stay married and all that stuff. Um, sure. So she is, is she moved from D.C. to the Boston uh, office, the branch. So she just operates out of the, you know, out of the uh, New England now. And still having to deal with her brother. That is, is Jesus. Yes. Jesus has been quite messed up. Yes. Yes. And her aging dad as well. Yes. And then, of course, fast forwarding um, to Agent Mantillo, a.k.a. Samantha Perez, owns a motorcycle shop in Boston area. With her brother. With her brother. Yep. And also, Jorge. as as your brother Jorge, is that who it is? Mm -hmm. And um, as you're repairing a bike, you're you're provided a parcel from FedEx. And this inside this parcel is an what appears to be an invitation. It has a green triangle on it and some writing. And on the invitation, it says, please join us to celebrate the 51st birthday of our our friend Richard Zaloni at the Gateway Bridges Restaurant, 9011 uh, Potash Street, Boston, Massachusetts, 02121, with a phone number. Yet there is no date for the birthday, which is a little odd on an invite when you think that's like the most important piece. And upon further investigation of the invitation, um, I believe, was it? Mignon. Mignon had discovered an exeter. 
um, that had been, or exemplar, sorry, exemplar, exemplar, not an exeter, exemplar, that is basically, uh, uh, it was kind of put behind the invite. The invite's done with a cardboard frame, and behind the paper printout, there seems to be another piece of paper, an exemplar. And moving forward, Jerry Gladstone decides to check out the address that this invitation is pointing to. And in so doing, literally run, almost runs into Agent, as, as he knows, Agent Mantillo at the same restaurant. And they go inside and check out the restaurant and um, come back out and run into a vehicle that was passing by that where Agent um, Maya was driving up in her SUV and realizes these two clowns that she had seen 20 years ago in New York City on an operation. So she stops and gains their attention and she notices the exemplar as well after Agent Mignon points it out and she notices that and knows that being in law enforcement that an exemplar is used to compare handwriting. So it's usually a bunch of, it's not gibberish necessarily, it's just words. Maybe it's similar to like lorem ipsum. If you're familiar with that, it's, you can find that on the internet. People use it to fill in websites with content for text, but it's just all Latin. But exemplar is actually, you know, English paragraph that list that writes uh and in this one it's it has some business but it doesn't really ring a bell with any of you and um as you're doing that outside of the restaurant agent mantillo reaches into her pocket pulls out one of the cocktail napkins from the restaurant that she pulled off the table while she had lunch with agent mignon where she realized that the gold inlay insignia on the cocktail napkins were similar to the insignia that she had seen on cocktail napkins 20 years ago in New York City. And now it comes to her realization that the Gateway Bridges Restaurant, or GBR, were the initials on those napkins 20 years ago. Sandy Check was involved and everything seemed to be okay. Um, and with this invitation, I think you guys had called and found out what date you had to be there, if I'm not mistaken. There was a date that was divulged. Correct. Yeah, the reservation is for uh, September, is for 1st September, 8 p.m. 2015, yes. And that's where we pick up, I think, at the end of that session. Maya was thanking Agent Mignon for not publishing. And it, as a matter of fact, Maya has quite a few of Jerry Gladstone's books in her library, yes. Don't put Jerry there. And was... He doesn't need to know that. It was good to know and thanked him for not putting out the image or the photograph that Agent Mignon, a.k.a. Jerry Gladstone, had come across in the McAllister building with a young Agent Maya naked, black and white, in a book that was full of risque photos. Era, hard to pin down, but maybe circa 1930. Now we are in Boston again, and it is, I would say, the date is um, the, probably the next day from when you received the invitation, which would be the 29th of August, 2015. Unless you guys decide to fast forward to actually going to the meeting uh, or the, the, the party that has been called, um, just let me know. Sorry, the party is the 30th, is that right? The first. 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 So we've got a couple days. 
Yeah. So we did not. Um, yeah, we did not provide contact info with each other, or at least. Yeah. I mean, we could assume you guys might have traded cell phones now that they exist and are uh, quite advanced from the days back in the day. Just, just, just for a reference, well, how old is Agent Maya right now? Let me check, but I think she's early to mid 40s. I think she was like 22. She was young. Yeah. So I think, uh, if you give me a second to get through a sheet, I can tell you. Though. Jerry Gladstone, how old are you now? 46. And Sam? So she was born in 68, so that's 47. Sorry, what's the year right now? 2015. 2015? 2015? Mm -hmm. Maya is 43. Yeah. Might look quite a bit different 20 years later. Maybe a couple pounds, different hair, hairline. A couple Wardrobe. pounds either way. It could go up or down. Who knows? Definitely some gray in that hair now. Yeah. Voice might be a little more mature, raspy, maybe, depending on maybe you got a bad habit of smoking cigarettes over all these years. Who knows? Whiskey, drinking whiskey, that'll do it. So unless otherwise stated, I would say it's the 29th of August, and you could lead up to the 1st to do what you'd like. I'm all ears, or we could simply fast forward to the day of the party. Guys, does it does it make some sense for us to at least like have lunch together or something like that, so we can talk about a few more of the the things we haven't shared with one another and that sort of thing, or that we've we've noticed? Yeah, if you want to go somewhere near the bookstore, because I still have plenty of books to sign, I'm booked there for the next few days. So. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Sammy? Um, yeah, like no, we, I think, I mean, I have to spend, you know, I, I, my plan was to spend some time basically finishing up a bunch of, of bikes so that if I'm again gone for a week, it won't be a big deal and, you know, making arrangements with my brother and that kind of stuff. But I could certainly find time for lunch. And I think uh, it seems like Prez has gotten a little bit... Uh, nostalgic so i think she'd be up for lunch i mean she was happy enough to see uh mignon and that was quite a surprise so <laughs> yeah. all right you guys decide to go to lunch on the 29th so parting the restaurant you exchange numbers and somebody initiates hey let's group text hey let's have lunch tomorrow there's a good restaurant i know of now are you gonna have restaurant at the at the one that you are going to have. The, no, uh, I think that would be bad. No. That would okay. be bad <laughs> craft. At the Gateway Bridges restaurant? No? Yeah, okay. no, that would be bad. I don't know Boston well enough to suggest a place, but it'd be somewhere somewhere cool in, in downtown Boston. I think some nice pizza joint in North Boston. There's a place that's got all the gangsters on the wall. It's got some good pizza. Something like Pappy's, Pappy's Pizza. Sure. <laughs> I never remember the name of the place, but I always find it. I just wander around the neighborhood until I find it. It's like it's right there. All right. You guys, somebody's there early. The rest of you arrive and you, you recognize each other and you grab a table. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely scooting in late. You know, my fans, there was a lot. It, you know, it, it spilled over a little bit. So. Uh -huh. I'm thinking maybe then uh, Mantillo, um, Lupita, and Sam catch up a little bit, just more generally before he gets there. Sure. Without getting into the details about you know gory personal life stuff, but you know what he's been doing for 20 years type of type of thing. Right. Yeah. And it might be unique and now. Are you, now I'm I'm interested to know whether you guys use your real names or how personal you get, depending on. Like, like, I don't, knowing Delta. Well, I was Green. even trying to think if, if I would have 
uh, had enough forethought to have brought a burner phone. Like if that's still part of my, I mean, I think it's still part of my life, you know, so that whether I would have, have given my actual phone, like my personal phone or whether it would have been sort of the, the sort of agency burner phone number. I feel like she's probably still pretty strict about that kind of stuff and probably had a, a separate uh, cheapy phone. Um, and I, I think she's still um, Mantillo. Maya's the same. She's, I mean, she's a protocol girl, right? If you remember, she's pretty yeah down, yeah, the, yeah. down the middle of the road on, on this stuff. So she's still Maya. Uh, and in fact, she's been doing work for the program this whole time. So she's she's got a, a gear bag always ready. She's got credentials. Right. She's got the phone. She probably has an unregistered firearm somewhere. Yeah, I mean, um, Mantillo has also, I think she, because she was doing a bunch of stuff overseas. I mean, she was working overseas yeah. and then at, with the Air Force. And with, with that, she was doing agency work from time to time also. So I think she's still, yeah, she's still been on call. So I think, yeah, she's, I think she's still probably the same, same deal. But I, but it feels comfortable. I, I, there's something about getting back with this crew as opposed to all the random, a lot of solo stuff and other, you know, so I would imagine came and went. Yeah, there's probably some small talk as well about about whatever happened to Mosby. Have you guys seen Mailman? You know, all yeah. that kind of. All that well, kind of and stuff. definitely about yeah, and about uh, what's his face. Mosby. No, I don't think so, Marcus. Oh, Marcus, yeah. Uh, and you mentioned Sean that in fact, uh, Lupita you saw had Marcus seen. Once. Yeah, she's she's run across him like years ago, but years after. New York, right? Yeah, you said after or just before the the agency became legal again. Yep. Right around that was the last time you saw him, I think. Yeah, that's a little weirdness too. As player characters, I don't know if you would know that the official program is in place now versus when it wasn't. Those lines seem to be be, be a little gray. They both exist in 2015. There's the program, you know, and the outlaws. I don't know. I I don't know. I think there'd be like a come in from the cold kind of moment for a lot of agents. And I don't know. That's I, true. I bet, I bet we would know that. Let's put it this way. I think Lapita would know for sure that the program got revalidated around 2000, 2001. It got refunded. She may not know that there are outlaws out there still doing their own thing sure yeah she might not even think that she was an outlaw 20 years ago right that was you were doing yeah. you know it was right just side. unsanctioned yeah. it was not not funded now it's funded again right okay so yeah i think i think um lapita and sam are having a good time talking when in walks mr famous Loser. author yeah he got full of himself <laughs> Hawaiian shirt, <clears throat> boonie hat, safari hat, whatever kind of hat. It is. <clears throat> I, don't I don't know what it is, but it's uh, it could be a fishing hat, it could be a gardening hat, it could be, yeah. Whatever you're doing, it it's that kind of hat. Right now, it's going to be an eating lunch hat in Boston. So in the late, but it's late rude summer. to wear your hat inside. So yeah. well, we we might we might. I was thinking we could actually get the pizza and go outside and sit. Uh, yeah, in the park, sit in the sun, a little more privacy. Yeah. Sure. The guy it. comes over, takes an order. Says, hey, wait, wait a minute. Hey, are you, are you Jerry Gladstone? <laughs> I'm like, I guess you knew I was in town, huh? That, I don't go up the stairs. Like, yes, yes. I yes. just got my copy. Yes. Awesome. Oh, if I yes. just only had it with me. And I go, lucky you. And I grab and I have. I had two with me to give to each of them, but I take Mantillo's <laughs> and cross Mantillo out. And I'm like, and uh, this is to who? Uh, John. Johnny. John. Yeah. John. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, John. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Gladstone. I appreciate it. Go. Yeah. I really love this stuff. What's like, oh. where do you get these? Where do you get this? I, these ideas is crazy. It's off. I don't, you know, you never know where, you know, inspiration is just going to 
hit you. You know, some days you just wake up. Sometimes you walk out of the shower. Um, you take a nice nap on a park bench and you wake up and, uh, and there it is. And you got to write it down. Wow. Regular Renaissance guy, like sleeping on park yeah. benches and just like <laughs> writing, <laughs> writing with ideas you come up with. And that's yeah. fantastic. Well, Hey, no, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Hey, I'll, I'll get the, I'll get the order in and, uh, the, you know, pies on me, I, you know, no problem. Oh no, yeah, no, 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 it's great. No. You know, I, it's not every day I get to meet some, somebody that, you know, I read their books, um, and everything. So no, no worries. Hey, I'll let you guys go. I apologize. I didn't mean to intrude. I didn't mean to intrude, you know? So. No, it's perfect. And, and I look at my uh, man Tio and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Maya just shakes her head a little bit. Yeah. She's got the, she got the pizza when it's ready to go. And we'll photograph we'll plastered it. all over the place. <laughs> <clears throat> Excellent. Uh, wow. Yeah. So uh, I was thinking that uh, I was trying to think if there's those um, psychological. You'd know more about this than I do, Maya. But the 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 handwriting thing, right? Don't they do like personality tests based on handwriting? Maya shrugged. She says they can. They're not always accurate. I'm just wondering if we should do something. I mean, they sent us this for a reason, I imagine. So I think, Sean, we're outside now, right? We're in the park with the pizza. Yeah, yeah. probably outside the pizza joint at a table, yeah. umbrella up. and Yeah. So Maya's got a big slice in her hand. But she's like, in, you know what I don't like about this? Everything? And, uh, well, that it's not yeah, New York style? I mean, no, not the pizza. Oh, but you're right. Oh. Not as good as New York. Right. <laughs> she... Uh, she puts the invitation that she's carried with her. She pulls it out of her, out of her you know, like blazer pocket, puts it on the table, and kind of taps it and says, "It's just so much like what we saw before, with yeah. handwriting, with a personal invitation. It's just it's so oh, much I didn't, like." I didn't, I didn't show you this, and I, I'll pull out uh, the napkin out of my pocket. So that uh, GBR, that's. Uh, like it's like that napkin that we found in the apartment came to us from 20 years in the future. Like, I don't even know if that restaurant existed 20 years ago. I mean, I suppose I could find out and I'll get out my phone and start like searching to see if, uh, if that restaurant existed 20 years ago. Sure. So this is, this is the napkin that we found in New York. Found in New York and had that mechanical drawing on it. You remember? It was a real cool little mechanism thing. I couldn't quite figure it out, but do you do you produce it, Edwin, at the table? I produce the napkin. So this napkin is the one that I got yesterday. But we recognize the logo. Oh yeah, we recognize the logo. Yeah. yeah. So Mantio, Mantio for sure does. I take my phone. Yeah, I take my phone, and I have PDFs of all my books. So I scroll to Clown in the Park. And I go to chapter three and like the, the chapter heading, I have little doodles and stuff. And it literally has a napkin with the GBR in the front of chapter three of clown in the park. I was like, yeah, I, I do kind of remember that. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's, that's uh there's some, I'm a little, I'm so I'm worried about what you, yeah, that it's the same thing over again, but it's also like, what if it's actually the same thing over again. Maya's got like goosebumps on her arms, chills by she's looking up a napkin at that at that scrolly GBR. And she's and now she's recognizing it. Does she have Sean from the work that she's done? Does she have a typical handler or a crew that she usually works with? In other words, could she contact Delta Green and say, "Is this from you?" Um, you hmm, I. I would think you would have a common contact over the years that you've done some operations. Yeah. Um, what are you going to attempt to, um, are you going to try to contact somebody within Delta green to, to ask if it's the napkin is from them. She would, she would take a picture of the invitation. Hmm. That we got, not the not the um, not the exemplar text, 
but the invitation right. that says be come to the birthday party and she would text it via burner phone to other anonymous number and simply say is this is this an official opera or is this is this an opera question mark in other words oh, kind of code okay. for like is this a delta green opera sanctioned operation knowing that sometimes it is that weird sometimes you do just get you know, an envelope slid under your door. Right. Meet at this at this bus station at this time, and you just have to do it. Right. Yeah. No. Um, are you going to do it at the table at the pizza place? No. Okay. So that yeah, is she, something you're do going to privately. do. I got gotcha. you. Okay. She, yep. All right. Um, let me make sure I make a note of that. So my. Yeah. I guess the, I guess the question. Sorry to to take it out of context or out of out of order. The question is whether or not she has somebody like that she could text. I would think you would at some you would you would but you know that communicating with them is going to be spotty spotty right yeah do you leave yep. a message do you you know what do you, you can leave a message they may get back to you you could you you can say that you do have a resource you're not sure when you might hear back so back in the moment maya you know slides the envelope or the excuse me the napkin back over and just says is this about us somehow? That's what I'm thinking. So yeah, so I'm, and I'm on the I'm on my my phone looking up the history, the about us on the GBR page, on the restaurant page, to see how old <laughs> they are. Um. So the restaurant, it's uh, I, mm, I don't know if they would have existed 20 years ago. Um, yeah. I would say yes, the restaurant existed 20 years ago. Okay. All right. Uh, I lean in, I lean into them, and I bet they have different like names. Making sure no one is listening. Not that anyone would even have any idea. But do you, do you still think of the people in that building? Yeah, I, I just think about it. those two firefighters. I don't know. It's it's. It's been tough for me. Um, I, I I constantly think of those people, which is half the reason that I write it down. But uh, maybe maybe this is a chance for us to do something different. Yeah, I mean, I could imagine. You know, if it's some kind of weird space, and we got rid of a door. It doesn't mean there's not other doors to that same place. And that one guy, I mean, there, there were people in there that we ran into that seemed like they'd been there for, I don't know, 50, 60 years. Or people that we know. And I avert my eyes from everybody. Maya oh, has yeah, it. right. Yeah. When Maya I say that, I text Kennedy Biltmore right now as we as we talk about someone we know. Like, hey, what's up? Okay. Because remembering that I saw her in the building, I want to make sure she is not. I thought in you did that last weird... yesterday too. I like that you're doing I'm it gonna, every day. I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, keep yeah. Doing it. <laughs> I think that. Um... Um, uh, Agent Maya has caught up with uh, Mantillo before uh, Mignon arrived, but I think Mignon, you and I haven't talked yet about kind of what we've been up to. So, in this in this uh, conversation, she says, "You know, I I have kept doing program work." She says it quietly. I've kept doing program work for all these years, and nothing, none of them, none of those operations, those operas, were like them. New York, none of them. I think about those people all the time. That wiretap, the guy yeah. in the apartment, it's, it, none of it made sense. It did it's, not make sense at all. It's bothered me forever. So maybe we can maybe we can get some resolution here, but we need to be careful about this. I, I don't even know if this is really an opera. She taps on the on the invitation. She taps the green triangle. She's like, I don't know if it's if it's real or if it's something else. I don't know. I, I I'm seeing it. Again, obviously, I have not been involved in anything. I've almost hid slash run away from it. Uh, thank goodness they haven't contacted me. Um, and even if, the, if this isn't 
an opera per se. Um, I almost feel like I, I need to see what's going on with this. What if Marcus shows up on the at the birthday party? <sighs> That'd be no, messed up. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a. I don't have a, a good. I don't. I, I'm. It, it doesn't make sense. But I'm just so. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything we should be doing. Before then. Before then, and the only thing I could think of was something on that handwriting, or. You know, I checked out the restaurant. It looks. You know, it's not. I wanted to make sure because remember that at our last meet, folks just disappeared and at the. At that hotel down in Florida. Is that where it was? Where we met up? New York? No. No, before that. Before that, when oh, I was late, remember? Oh, remember yeah. Remember, I didn't get there on time. But it seemed like there was some weird stuff that went down there. And so I wanted to know the site before we get before we had to meet, in case there's something like that again. But, but yeah, other than that, I don't know. I mean, obviously put our shit in order but I think we were lucky last time I don't think I don't think we uh, are all still sitting here because of you know our prowess no it didn't make yeah it it made so little sense that there was no no there was no like I know I know when to use a wrench I know when to use a screwdriver and I don't. I didn't even. I couldn't even see the parts for that one. I had no idea what I was. What we were doing. Yeah. So. Maya, uh, oh, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say Maya gets practical, so she she taps that same envelope. She's like, "I'll I'll run the handwriting on this. Cool. See if I can find anything. We should also try to find out if anything has been rebuilt in New York on that spot. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, I can definitely find that into. out. That's easy. Okay. What else? Uh, I just, I'm going to take care of some stuff I need to take care of. And, uh, I will, I will meet you guys. Uh, Have either of you two had flashback, flashbacks or like whatever this napkin is, flash forwards, flashbacks. Like, was there anything else that you've been sort of like connecting? I mean, the invitation is similar. The napkin's the same, but let's see, what was the other stuff we had? There was that, what was that thing that? nearly burned my hands off it was batteries they were those old batteries it was in a a radio i think it was a world war ii radio or something there was the clown like there was a bunch of stuff 20 years ago and i'm just trying to think like how much of it might end up being connected you know it'd be good to it'd be good to figure that out maybe i guess maybe shit you know what i'm gonna do and don't this is not this is not about you, but I think I better read those books of yours. <laughs> I will, I'm going to, yeah, because I, I feel like we need to know what we did. And I've, I'm sure I've forgotten a lot of the details. Did uh, in the... I'll, I'll Instagram you uh, coupons and you can pick them up on, uh, on the that's website. Great. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's great. Yeah, no, that's seven ninety five dollars a pop is really <laughs> that's good. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, they Myers. take Ethereum if you have any of that. So, well, oh god, yeah, we let's heard that's reality. gonna be the new thing. Oh wait, that's not, this... too early. That's too yeah, early. Let's, let's have this reality be where that just doesn't doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Please, um, um, Maya says, do we ever end up taking anything out of that building that lasted, that that stayed with us ever? No, some of the stuff seemed to last for like a day or two at most, but I feel like everything else disappeared or the information from it on it, like the books went blank and the, or just disappeared. The air, oh my God, man, the air disappeared. Right? Yeah. The did. picture, the book with the pictures, Gladstone, Minyoung, he, it, it ended up being blank after like a day after you left the, Right. the building sorry the images are burned into my mind some of them are very them. ingrained in your memory yes <laughs> easy <laughs> um sean the pictures that we took in is it abigail abigail's apartment oh, yeah all those did, those 
did those also fade or disappear? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I remember we were in, uh, uh, we were in the apartment and trying to convince somebody. Yeah. Marcus, it was when Marcus and came Young in. Young was yelling at Marcus at and saying, look at all these yeah. pictures. Look at what we've done. And he's throwing Polaroids yeah. at him and they're blank. And Marcus blank. is like, what's this? What is, what is this crap? Yeah. Mignon didn't yeah. even know it as he's throwing them at him. And then he picks them up. And he's like, what the? I, I've taken tons of pictures in this place. Okay. Yeah, I think so, it, all, it all disappeared. The, the only thing that doesn't disappear is the stuff that we remember. Yep. And I take a folded piece of paper out of my shirt pocket and I unfold it on the table. It's a sketch. And it, of has a, it, <laughs> it is a sketch. But it's a sketch of that summoning circle mm-hmm. oh, and the yeah. layout of that room, along with the drawing of the person symbol. Yeah, because that's a normal occult symbol. And I said, "There's that this this has been in my mind for a very long time." And obviously, if I carry it on my person, I don't have it all the time. But since we were meeting, I figured right. I, would, I would bring it. Sure, yeah, that's the thing you wanted to try to summon some demon or something. That's, or talk to I, it. that's you're blowing it out of proportion. That is <laughs> summoning we'll see, demons. We'll see what is... your character did in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this uh, is messed. And I, I just look I I just look at Maya and I was like, I was afraid of lead poisoning. So <laughs> I didn't you know, carry on with what I wanted to do. Maya smiles, smiles a little. <laughs> Since you know, we weren't we weren't we weren't ourselves all the time there. So uh, she's thinking right now. Um, Mentio just said something about the only thing we were able to take out of that place was what's up here, right? Yeah. She's always been bothered by, like, when she was in that building. Is that when the pictures were taken, and she doesn't remember? So she's always had this haunt, you know, this haunting feeling of like, is there time she can't account for? Oh, the picture uh, of her that was in the book. Yeah, like gotcha. when was that taken? And, she, and does, she, it, does she just not remember it? Right. So she's right. doesn't trust what's in her head from when they were in and out of that building. But she's not going to say anything about that right now. So now I'm going to overshare and say that I spent a lot of money and a lot of hours to try to not remember constantly what happened um and to be honest with you with both of you um i i i've distanced myself from from everything that's happened almost to where i believe it's fiction and that's why i write it in the books and it hasn't been until now seeing the two of you it's actually made it real again for me um (laughs) So uh, I think thank you, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out after tonight what I dream about. So we'll find out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so if it's okay with you, I'm going to go take care of some things um, that I wasn't that we didn't do the first time, just in case. And uh, I think I'll meet up with you uh, on the first but there's right. definitely some stuff I have to handle. Oh, well, we got a birthday to celebrate, so <laughs> bring balloons. And gasoline. That's probably a good <laughs> idea, too. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> let's, let's, this, oh. this might be a very straightforward. We, we might be talking to a handler tonight. We, Again, I lean in and I'm first. like, I'm like, is it a coincidence mailman's not here? I don't we know. might see him two days. We might see him. Yeah, he might show up. Who knows? Where's Mosby? I think he's in yeah. prison. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's in prison. I think we're going along with that. Yes, <laughs> I'm sticking with that. He's in jail. Uh, well, well, to facilitate Sean's pace here, uh, I don't think Maya is going to be looking to do much in the next two days, other than at the office try to run this past a handwriting expert or if there's any kind of a, you know analysis that can be run that talks about the type of person that wrote this because i don't think there's that there's not a handwriting database right not like a fingerprint 
Right. Sadly. Right. Might so be. um you can what are you going to attempt to do with the invite? Like what are you trying to I think it's not the it's the exemplar, I think. The exemplar? Uh, yeah. So are are we going our separate ways here? I think yeah. the pizza place is wrapping up, so I guess it's like when you disperse, you each have each other's number, I would guess. Yep. And yep. I don't know if you guys come to the conclusion like, hey, I'll just give you a call. Min Young's obviously said, you know, I'll just see you at, at the restaurant yep. on the first. I don't know between Maya and Mantio how that how you guys so I'm sure. So my job was to go and, and check up on whether the New York building was rebuilt. And I'll, I think I would report in on that as soon as I can find out. So at some point, I'll definitely call Maya and, uh, and with whatever I find out. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely see Mentio and Maya trading trading texts on their burner phones type of thing. All right. The minute, the, the minute something's found out. So Mantillo, how are you going to find out if the building in New York is still standing? Since it's it's not that not, far away, but what is it? New York to not Boston. still standing. Um, so I think uh, I'm, I'm Google Earth to start with. I'll yeah. just uh, <laughs> satellite picture of the of the block and see if there's a building there. I mean, I know okay. the address. Okay. Yeah. Um, there is not a building there. Still just a vacant lot. Yeah. Okay. All right then. That's, That's rare for New York. Twenty years later, yeah, there so. might be some. They might be putting something there. They just haven't decided zoning wise. Right. There's a there's a sign that says uh, Consigli Construction under uh, whatever. You're gonna plow the plow feet. the whole block and put in something. Yeah. Maybe. So yeah, but so I'll call uh, it Maya. Uh, yeah. But there's but, like rent control, and there's people who don't want to move. So it's a whole. It's a it's fiasco. A whole thing. Oh yeah, it's a, thing. it's a whole yeah. thing. Yeah, it's been. There's these little tiny aliens that you come. You can't down make me move out help, of my apartment. They help everyone. <laughs> Tied up in right, twenty no, years no. of court really system good. stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Exactly. There you go. Um, right. Agent Maya, what are you gonna? So are you going to tap somebody from the marshal service to check into the invite? Yep. So she's doing two things. Yep. Uh, back in her apartment, she's taking a picture of the invitation. Yep. And she's texting it to her last handler and, you know, with a simple message just along the lines of, is this from you? Is this an operation? Is this, a, is this an opera? Right. And then at the office, she, she actually absolutely will go into the office and she's just going to attach it to whatever case she's, you know, she's probably got a couple of cases that are lukewarm that she hasn't started yet. And she's going to try to just, you know, leverage the system to say, hey, you know what, I, I, I found this in one of the hotel rooms that the person was in. And I'm just trying to figure out um, if, if they wrote it or someone else wrote it. What can we tell from the um, the passage that was written okay. for the handwriting analysis piece? All righty then. Um, for... Gonna warm up my dice. Give me, yeah, give me a bureaucracy check for sure. I think Ooh, there's 44. a resources component, but oh, fill it by one. Oh. Dope. Burn luck. Check the box though. Just kidding. You spelled something wrong. Just kind of. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they researched it, but it was one letter off or something. <laughs> yep. Um. Okay, so you so the guys yep. not not working this weekend. <laughs> yeah, the the guys the guys out. Oh, might, is that .net or .com? Yeah. Or might not be word. able to get you the info in enough time. In time before yeah. the meeting. So she said, "Mr. Request, request, and here's nothing back." Right. Got it. Mentio gets a few a few texts along the lines of, "Nothing yet." Nothing yet, and I don't think um, I'm going to get anything before all the, of before these the texts party. back and forth until the first. Jerry does not respond to a single one of them. I don't That's think I said Jerry was on them. Yeah, he's not. Copied <laughs> on them. You're not getting anything. That would be really <laughs> weird. Maya, dude. Really weird. <laughs> Fine, that's what I meant. Yeah, like, I didn't respond to like, any of these non-texts I was getting. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> just yeah, in case sitting, you guys are texting me. They're staring at his phone right. the whole time, reading for texts. <laughs> he's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I have friends, I swear. 
support, Jerry. They're meeting me for lunch. <laughs> as soon as I sign this thing, these these ten more copies of the book. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. All right. Never mind. <laughs> and, and, and what about the text that Maya sends to her 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 handler? Does she get anything back from that? Uh, give me a bureaucracy check. Another one. Good. <laughs> Nothing. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Just anything. Maya. Just text. Just text to vent you only. Coming up empty. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm sorry, dude. It's just, no, it's, the way it would it's be. perfect. It's perfect. It's the way it would be. 100%. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, Mentio. Right so the, I'm giving them the right number. I may have given them my old number. <laughs> I'm, Damn, I'm sure they remember. would have texted me by now. I mean, I said <laughs> I was going to be at the them, restaurant. But... Right, just as I told them not to contact me until... <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> they should know better. <laughs> Are you guys going to do anything else? Be so we'll say the 29th is gone. Yep. You going to do anything else from the 30th to the first? Not related to the case. Just just related to getting ready to take some time off. Okay. Just put in. Re- hey, tell your brother you're going to be off for some time. Okay. Yeah. Get that bike done, etc. All right. So it becomes. Do we want to take a break, or are we still good? We had a late start, so I, I'm still I'm good. okay. If you want to go a little longer, we can break now. Whatever, whatever works. I was gonna get some we'll more water. Need, can I get a, we'll need a break? Well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's break. Let's get a water. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. So. <clears throat> It's the day of 1 September 2015, and the birthday party for is not until 8 p.m. at the Gateway Bridges Restaurant. And we do know that, right? We know 8 p.m.? Yes. Yes. Somebody told Jerry? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Standing there all day, just like, all right, they going to show no, up. Mantillo did, right. did, right. uh, did have pity on you. Okay. I think especially because she actually she didn't admit it to uh, to Jerry, but after she discovered that Jerry had had the forethought to actually rip the invitation apart, okay, and it hadn't even occurred to her to do it, she was like, "Huh, all right, well, he's got something going on." Okay. But anyway, yeah. So September first. All right. Okay, you come up to the um, restaurant. Looks very familiar from a few days earlier. And at the um, as you enter, it's the same, right? The hostesses looks. Um, there's a hostess that greets you. Hello, yes, welcome. It's Gateway Bridges Restaurant. How many? Thanks. Uh, we're here for the birthday party in the back. In the, oh, in the uh, yes, the birthday party. Just right there. this way. And Thanks. she wanders through the restaurant and goes to that room that you guys had checked out just from a, the entryway before previously in your, or on your previous visit. And right before you enter, there is a sign that says, you know, it's like, the little lines and the plastic little letters on it. And it says private function, Richard Zaloni birthday. Good green. All right. I think we're, Thanks. Okay. I think we're ready to do this. And as you enter, there is a few tables in the room. Um, looks like it can, the larger room can hold up to 12 people. I think I might've mentioned that before from, uh, when you visited earlier around a single large table. Is there a table for presents set up? 
uh, there is that. So I find the first waiter or waitress that walks by, and out of the brown shopping bag that I'm carrying, I pull out a wrapped present, and you can clearly see it's books wrapped uh, with wrapping paper and ribbon and a bow. And it's my entire collection wrapped. And uh, I just ask, hey, uh, is there a table for gifts? I would like to put this on the table. Oh, uh, I think we, we can get a cart for you. We'll wheel one in there. Oh, perfect. I just hand it to the, the waitress. Oh, yep. And she grabs yeah. it and okay. takes it, goes back. <laughs> um, and you guys are in the room and sit down at the table. What? Is it, is it just three of us? Richard? Yeah, sorry. Well, I guess Richard's that's... Alone. Yeah. Richard. So uh, just just quickly, M Maya similarly has brought something. She brought a card, a Hallmark card, and on the inside it just says "Happy Birthday, Dick." And she... <laughs> <laughs> she's given that to the waitress as well. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So wait. So as as we come in, is the room empty except for like? Is it just empty? The room except is the room is empty. Except for you. And guys. how's that table set? There's Are there, like plates and silver Right. There's and place stuff? settings for, you know, about twelve people around this large table. Twelve people. Yeah. And you can Do you mind if we set the scene just just a little, Sean? Sure. Like is the is the restaurant like bustling busy? Is it dark? It's a little after the rush. You know, it's eight o'clock, so things are yeah. starting to taper off a little bit. And it's Sept uh, September 1st, so it's still relatively light out. It's getting a little darker, but not, you know, twilight maybe. And so, guys, we're arriving when? We're like a, a few minutes before 8 or on the dot type of thing? I was thinking a couple minutes before 8, yeah. Yeah. And no one's there already, Sean? Uh, nobody's in the room at the moment. Okay. So I'm going to walk the room um, and just look for any sort of indication of anything card balloon uh engraved something a place name card uh look under a couple plates just kind of start wandering around in the room and look look for anything that doesn't belong to the restaurant basically traps secret doors yeah no no those. traps <laughs> um no secret doors Blood D6. Click, click. Oh, and I'm looking out back out to those bushes outside because I saw that there was a place that you could monitor here from outside. Sure. And as it doesn't take very long, and uh, a gentleman walks in, an African American, looks about 60 years old. Um, and he walks in and is actually a little startled. And oh, oh, yeah, oh, you're, oh, you're here. Ah, okay. Uh, good, good, good. Please, please have a seat. This is uh you may uh, you may call me you may call me Agent Exeter. Exeter, huh? And he comes over to the e? table. E X E T E R. And he comes over to the table where you, I would presume, you're standing or sitting, and sits down. Sit it, down it, across from him, so like six feet away. Okay, six the feet. Doors or it's a big table. It's a big yeah, table. You said it is. Do you want to be six feet or four? Or well, I'm thinking that his breath weapon is probably has got like a five foot range. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. right, it's a no. cone. Way to way to meta game. Six way feet it is. <laughs> Exactly. Is there a door to the room, Sean? <laughs> there's the door you came through, and then there's a, in, a door that goes out to the outside. I, uh, I hand him my invitation to prove that I was invited, and I just slide it like across the table. Oh, that's him. not necessary. Thank you. He says you oh. obviously each received your invitation. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And as it's, he sits uh, down, you can okay. you can hear like just very faintly like the crumpling of paper. Like as he sits, it's just very in his pocket. must be coming from his pocket or something. And uh, who is nearest to him? 
And obvious isn't Mantia, like six feet. She's off. further. She's opposite. Yeah. I, I would be directly across. I'm directly across from him. So you and no, Mantia are seat. sitting on each other's We're laps. Side side. We're sitting on each other's lap. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Maya is closing the door to the room to give okay. them privacy. Yeah. Sure. And yeah. she also um, has an un- an unregistered Walther in the back, the back of her pants beneath her jacket. So she has her basically her undercover firearm noted okay and then she'll come over and she'll sit at the head of the table quite some distance from everybody i'm so confused i have a round table in my head oh do you is it a round table or, or not sean <laughs> round or square or rectangular oh, oval yeah. i'm gonna go with oval did anyone oh, say damn. oval <laughs> yes it's, got 12 it's, feet. it's octagonal the, the answer is yes <laughs> okay <laughs> We each have our own vision. I am within he sits down reach next to Nantio. There you go. Okay. I'm within arm's reach. Yeah. Okay, I'm not. And I no longer have a Magarov pistol because it was stolen from me 20 years ago. I have that in my apartment. And I have not acquired a new one. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you can't have it. <laughs> Sorry, Sean, go on. No, All right, fine. so we sit down at the cardinal points. <laughs> oh, wow. We oh, don't see the pentagram on the floor. Interesting. Of it, right? In the new version of Foundry, you can <coughs> choose who sees the thing you share. Oh, oh that's cool. They, they, they added a little more. Uh, they did. So yeah. it says show two, and then there's a check mark after every one. If oh, I that's sure. Cool. Yeah, so this is this is who you see. I hope oh, you can nice. see that. Yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> so he says, <clears throat> um, and as you sit down, Agent Maya, you can, you can smell Exeter. He's got a little tinge of a bo going on, and even even a little bit of oil and gasoline. It's very, you know anything. Anything out of place on the guy in terms of like his his clothing, the shoes he wears? He's, he's pretty plain, uh, other than than the the odor, and then he's got like a, a kind of a sport coat on, like one of those tweed sport coats. Okay, rather mundane pants, you know, um, nondescript kind of guy. This is the uh, the operation is codenamed. India Moon. And it's about locating former operatives of the group. These operatives have been under the care at a psychiatric facility in Boston that itself has deep connections to the group. They've been committed over some time, for some time now, and They've gone missing. And they were missing as of 28 August 2015. It's the day You're we saying, got the invitation? The invitation came the day they were found missing? I can't say when you received your invitations. When were they sent? The twenty eighth. Okay. So they so how some, many how many, how many, how many invitations of them? did you send out? Oh, that too, hey, Mister Exeter. Can't tell you that, dude. But uh, how many operatives are missing? There's six. And they all went missing the same day. Yes. From the same facility. Yes. Same psychiatric facility. Yes. And our job is to find them, kill them. Find them. What? Find out find what them? happened to them. All right. This is, we have not alerted the police, but the group wants them found. Uh, it says there was a message written on the wall of one of their rooms. And he grabs something out of the inside breast pocket of his sport coat pulls it out, lays it on the table, and slides it forward. 
And that looks like... Zoop. This. Got a message. Oh, shit. And it says on it... It looks like a uh, f a photo of lines written on the wall of a mental patient's room. It was scrawled on the wall in a copious amount of human blood, he says, covered with taped newspapers. And it says on there, you could read it, it says, Abigail Wright has gone to sea, cross the waves to rescue me. In a ship both tall and fine, she rounds the corner, making time. Marking. Oh, I say, did I say making? I meant marking. Yeah. Marking time. <laughs> nothing, nothing to screw up the tense tension. So they, <laughs> they taped newspaper to the wall and then they wrote on the newspaper in blood. Is that what you're saying? That's right. Or whatever, yeah. So did these guys, these six people, did they work together before? Were they put in at the same time? Did they have something in common? We are unsure. Same, went to the same opera. It is something that you do not need to know. It's just right. members of the group. <clears throat> we know of one thing, and before their incarceration, each of these operatives came in contact with a book known to have unnatural properties. The book goes by many titles. If you come across this, any occult book in this operation, it is to be reported. Barring any cursory examination for title and author, any such book is not to be read. Oh, yeah, I bet there's something about like that occult book, Don't Go Up the Stairs. <sighs> So you're not going to tell us which book it was that these guys all came in contact with. You're just going to tell us that a book, but the same book, they all came in contact with. That's what we believe. All right. So as usual, your MO here is to send us out to do a job without giving us the information that you have in order to do the job. Agent Maya, right, maybe maybe you might right. be able to educate Agent Mantillo. Agent Mantillo has not been involved with too many operations since. Maybe I have, time. and you just don't need to know. That's possible. We know you can't tell us everything, but there's also there's information that will make this easier and make us successful. Indeed, of this, course. This this institution. Yes. It's part of the program. The people who work there know about the program? They do. They are friendlies. And he hands, uh, are... he reaches and he opens up his other breast pocket, pulls something out. You could hear as he does that, like the, the paper that the noise, the sound isn't coming from the paper he's pulling out and putting on the table. There's like other paper that must be in his pockets as he kind of opens his jacket reaches in and he grabs out another piece of paper. It's about the size of his, size of his palm, a little bit smaller than the picture that he had see, showed you and slides that across the table and you see this. It says, Dr. Richard F. Dallin, Director, Dorchester House Psychiatric Facility, 48 Norwood Street, Boston, Mass, 02122. Then there's a saying underneath that says, sometimes things become possible if we want them bad enough. And it looks like some email address, phone number, and a fax number. And as he gives that to you, he says, um, 
Dallin is a group friendly and is very familiar with the group's activities. And he's expecting your call. As he taps the card. He runs the facility. He's the director. Yeah, all right. So I run, I look at his card, and I pick it up off the table, and I stare at it. And I stare at the quote on the bottom. Yep. Sometimes things become possible if we want them bad enough. And everyone sees my face go white. And I get up quickly, and I move over to the cart that has my books on it. And I rip, I rip the wrapping open, and I grab the book titled Paintings of Yesterday. And I flip to the inside dust jacket, and I bring it back to the table, and I put it on the table. And the tagline for the story says, sometimes things become possible if we want them bad enough. Where did you pull that from? I don't know. I don't know. Do you have art? Right? Just, Do you have art writing? Uh, I have something. Does anybody else uh, have art writing? No, I have art painting. <laughs> I thought I had art, or maybe I don't have it anymore. An author without art writing? Mm-hmm. Boy, these books must yeah. be super awesome. I just spent <laughs> two days reading them. They kind of were. <laughs> yeah. So 48 Norwood Street's right near the restaurant where we're at. No, they, they read like law books, apparently. I have laws. <laughs> <laughs> is art a skill? I don't think so. It is. It is. So it's a custom skill. No, it's something art, you can add under custom. Yeah, it's like performance oh. X. Performance. Oh, I see it. Right. You know what? Yeah. Did you want? Did you want art? No, writing? no. I, I, I changed it. It was in there, but it's not in there. That's. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it. You do. You wrote it. everything that you needed to write. You no, do. you don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> right. No. He's never gonna write again. No. It took him years art, to write those counting. books. So everybody, yeah, no, give me everybody, give me a sanity check for Abigail Wright's. Yeah, let's do that. Being, want to make. being mentioned and, and on this bloody picture. All right. Everybody got success. Yeah, you guys seem yeah. like just another walk in the park, another day. So yeah. Maya will Maya will say to our contact here, what's his name again? Sorry. Exeter. You can call Exeter. me Exeter. Do you know who Abigail Wright is? No. Does her name mean anything to you? No. Does this hmm. mean something to you? Do you have any reason why specifically the three of us were called on this? Op? I would imagine it has because you could do the job. Do you have the skills? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure that's why. A cell doesn't always divulge every motivation I look over to Maya and I I like I mouth a cell <laughs> she just gives me a little bit of a pretty sure it, that's not what we were referred to as earlier 20 years ago so is there anything else that you want to tell us any other information you have for us or are we just going to go find uh, Dickie Dallin here and uh, see what he's got for us it's just, he reaches underneath the table and kind of flips up the tablecloth, the white linen tablecloth, pulls out this rectangular object, and puts it out onto the table. And it kind of gives the table a thud, so it weighs probably a good three pounds. And as you look at it, you recognize it as, as an old-looking satellite phone. He says the group can be contacted securely by pressing star 616 but communication should be kept to a minimum we're lugging this antique thing around with us to get in touch with you that's awesome (laughs) thanks 
He shrugs. You have no dossiers on each of the six agents? Their ages, their names? What else? What they look like? Anything? He... Another <laughs> pocket of his coat. This guy's got a magic on jacket. The, on the front. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of pockets in sport coats. Yeah, on the front, down uh, the bottom one, he grabs something out of it and puts a piece of paper in front of you. At least we know the agency's filing system is top-notch. Little scribbled pieces of paper. Right. Pockets right. of holding. So the little... How big of a piece of paper is this? It's um, it's like a three by five. Like it was, and what's written on it? There are six names. I thought you were gonna like stick man drawings. This one looks like this. <laughs> Forgive this us for, looks- for 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 being pedantic, but I think it's it's in the it's in the tropes of this. Is it? Is it hand write, handwritten? Is yes. it typed? It's handwritten. Yes, handwritten. Handwritten. And it's like been folded twice. Like I'm uh Yeah. I feel like Mantillo is is barely restraining herself from just like knocking this guy out Slugging and him. Strip searching him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get all of his damn papers. Give off us his all body. the papers. <laughs> <laughs> Shake them. <laughs> Turn them upside down. Jacob. She's she's <laughs> calmed down a lot in her age, and that's why she's able to. <laughs> huh. And how do we contact you? Just with the sat phone only? That's right. Okay. And where do we take the individuals if we find them? Well, make sure you can locate them, and if they're probably uh, back to the psychiatric facility from where they disappeared. Do, we, police? do you know how long they've been at this facility? I don't. But Dr. Dr. Dallin will probably be able to tell yeah. us that. Maybe you already said this, but have the authorities been notified yet? They have not. No, of no course not. Right. I mentioned that earlier. We don't want the police involved at this point. Should we be... Uh... Expecting, I know you can't tell us how many invitations were sent out, but should we be expecting any other agents to join us in a day or two? Or if we, if somebody shows up pretending to join us, we should shoot them because they're on the wrong side. Well, if it's an agent that goes by mailman, then you should probably eliminate him with extreme prejudice. All right. (laughs) <laughs> Craig will show up. We'll be like, "Oh, you're no, <laughs> bang, bang." <laughs> We've already killed you. All right. So last session, and now it's session ten. Roll for initiative. <laughs> Hello, mailman. Um, when, does he say that mailman? We might expect to see him. There is a possibility of a fourth member of the group showing up. Uh, agent mailman. Lots right. of looks are exchanged. Yeah. No, there's, uh, I feel like, yeah. Uh, hey, do, do you have anything else for us or are you, are you done? It's just. That's all I have for you. Okay. So on the list that he gave you with the handwritten names, there are six names. Mm-hmm. There is T. First initial T, period. How, H-O-U. How, yep. There is Lila Mack, or Lila, L-I-L-A, Mack. M-A-C. That's right. Correct. There is a Kim Plaslad, P-L-A. S L A D. What was the first name? Sorry. T How. Oh. The first name for Plasad. Oh, Plasad, oh. I thought it was Kim. Yeah, Kim. Kim, you're right. And there was Le- Leela or Lila Mac. Oh. And then Kim Plasad.
There is a Alvin Sambi. S O M B Y. There is a Ray Billabas. B I L A B A S S. And there is a Toman F Prototh. So Toman is T H O M A N. Middle initial F Prototh. P R U T O T H. And for all the audio listeners, you're welcome. <laughs> That's a and video for that matter. <clears throat> Val Willimac. Is he still with us? Or see did he go after he said he had nothing more for us? He after he gives you the, the radio and the list of names and the mention of mailman, he gets up and he proceeds to leave the room. Do we still hear uh, Mantia, like as soon as he shuts the door, um, she just like grabs the table and tries to crack it in two. I mean, All right. Yeah. She's just, just like, give me a crack of the table in two check. All right. I will do that. <laughs> no. no, it's fine. Yeah. You do not no. crack the table in two. No, but yeah, but she's just like, she's just about to explode holding it, like holding it in for whatever those seven <laughs> minutes uh after he sent that you know did the abigail right thing and the um yeah and uh, and, I get and, out, and, mail, I get and then mailman on top of it like you just <laughs> yeah. sort of i think i think the two of you would have seen her starting to like overheat yeah. temple the, the vein i get out my notebook and i write uh ideas for next book title india moon and yeah, she like names. stands up and she's swearing and and like punching the wall. Um, I think we should Google some of these names just to see. What the fuck? Missing per missing persons. It's Maybe Abigail they're... Wright. It's fucking yeah. Abigail Wright. Yeah, I understand. We are. I don't need. We don't need to Google her name. We said it before. There may be more than one way into that space that we found. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go find her. You know, cross the waves. You know, so that 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 that's, that stuff that you said was just some some jerko handwriting business, right? That was a trip to Europe. That's crossing. I mean, I don't know. That's across the ocean. I don't know. Ship both tall and fine. What the hell is a ship tall and fine? I mean, we're talking like a sail sailing ship. I mean, what are the kind of boats tall? A rocket ship. I don't know. We can so these guys. So maybe the facility has a fourth floor too. Let's not. Let's not go there yet. Let's investigate these names. Let's talk to the doctor. Sure. Let's not get ahead of ourselves on how fucked up this might be. Do we get any quick hits on any of these names if we just Google them on our phone? Um. These names are not common. <laughs> no, they're, they're not. <laughs> Vow. No, Tom, they're not. Tom and F. Putoff. This got to be something or nothing. That's it. <laughs> right. Did you mean Thomas Puto? No. No, right. It must include Putos. <laughs> Did we get the the uh, address of the facility? I guess the yeah, guy's it's on the card, card maybe had it's it. On right? card, yeah. Yeah. It's on, on the, the card, card. Yeah. yeah. And it's not far from here. It's actually we're in the right same part of Boston. It's also probably at like 
by this point it's probably it's like eight thirty. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be a twenty four seven kind of facility. I mean, twenty four seven crazy, crazy exactly. Somebody's there. But yeah, I'd look up the uh, toys in the attic. SDHPF.com also. SDHPF? Yeah. So it's on the bottom of the card. I don't know. Is that a Twitter thing? For at SDHPF.com? That's an email. It's an email. Yeah, so I look up at SDHPF.com and see what's there. Sean, where did you put the handouts? In what folder? Yeah, I don't see them. Um, they are. I can't pull them back up. You cannot. I must. I can't. I can't, I can't find them to pull them back up. I wonder if there's a difference between share and and make permanently available or something. Well, That's share and view yeah. is different. So let me double check and see. Ooh. Share and taunt with. See this? You see it? Yeah, yeah. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> hope you well, enjoyed that i can configure the ownership um see if this will work i see it there you I go see it now i just have to do that Let's and see. yeah now it's in there yep now it's in the volume okay cool so ah yeah that whatever you just did that worked dorchester house Do yeah Dorchester. Go to Southie. Dorchester. Dorchester. Do it's probably Dooster. Dooster. Oh, Dooster House. Duster. I, refu I refuse. Dooster. I'm from Kansas. I don't talk. Norwood like Street. Baston. So that's in. Yeah. So I don't know what the S is, but D right. DHPF. That's that's all good. Then for whatever reason it starts with a an S. Dorchester House Psychiatric Facility, right? Right. Yeah. The S. S D H P F, right? Mm-hmm. Who knows why? It's all right, but I'll look it up. See what we can figure out, if anything. Is there an actual meal coming? Are we staying here? Like, are we going to do a little bit it's of up to you guys. These guys, or yeah, what do you want to do? I'd be willing as a to uh get some, so yeah. I mean, we may as well hang and get the get our work done. Yeah, there's probably a fair bit of like um noses buried in phones while we eat, yeah, <laughs> a couple of adult yeah. beverages and find out what we can about all this stuff, okay. Uh, who let's see. I could probably who's the forensics genie genius of the party does anybody maya's got forensics i think Maya does Maya's forensics is 30 it's not great but it's not terrible what's minyan's uh i'm sure it's not great if anything my um, you have none maya give me a zero. forensic check bitter Negative, sir. Okay. She's just getting better at her skills like crazy tonight. Yeah. No, that's good. Oh, so I forgot to incre increase one last time. You're never going to succeed at that rate. Make a little here. We determined is it 1d4 with, with this version of the rules. Remember how there was yep. different versions? Yeah, 1d4 straight up. Yeah, okay. And just added three to alertness. So doing some searches on these names in standard databases brings up unremarkable files that appear to reflect some of the, the claims of Barbus where they are uh, Exeter where they're not coming up with much. Okay, um, but we're not getting any like government institutions or no, nothing like they, that. They're no, yeah. Were they all like arrested or detained or taken into custody in the same location, same state, same city? How far Maybe apart not are they? Here? And if it's not if important, it's... you can say 
yeah. not important, but if it is, just if it was agency business, they may not even be on the books there. Yeah, there is. Uh, let's see. I guess that's a question as well. Is it, if these are the real names? Yeah, um, you're probably not going to get much with a Google search with these. Okay. Um, some of the details. Like you could maybe find out what they are using something else. I mean, Agent Maya is a marshal. Like, yep, she can run them in a database, and she's going to. Yeah. Um, but their hospital will also have records like crazy. I would think. What day of the week is it? Sorry, the first. That is a good question. I should have probably had that down. September first, twenty fifteen. Thought it was a Thursday last time I looked it up. I don't remember. Is the oh my god! It's not even going to tell me Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. So we're at about ten thirty Central Time. Who? Do you, I mean, unless there's something that you guys want to maybe uncover the next day, or I guess, what is the plan? You're in a restaurant, you probably ate some I feel food. like we, we got a lot of, yeah, I want to, you know, look up the, the psychiatric facility, sure. look up on their website, look up about Dr. Fa Dallin, just sort of figure out what kind of stuff we can figure out. Um. So I would say yes to all internet, all, but, yeah. all that, but what stop what would stop us from tomorrow morning just going to the hospital? To I think we are going to do that. That's that's what I was saying. I want to do all that before tomorrow morning. Yeah. Um, before we go to the hospital. So Sean, the intention for Maya would be to run those names in in the Marshall's database, but she's probably not going to have an opportunity to do that unless she has remote access from her apartment. She probably wouldn't be able to do that until she went back to the office after we went to the hospital. Uh, right. Well, unless she has secure access somehow. Yeah, I wouldn't say unless uh, from your laptop, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. You, you know, in cl classic cable TV crime uh, uh, TV show where they log into a and the emblem is a big eagle on the front, <laughs> and they type a long password. Of course, and they have instant access to everything that they need. Yes. Uh, yeah, you could have your laptop with you. That's fine. You'd probably be in your car if you want to pull it out. Do you want to do sure. it from the restaurant? Uh, she'd probably do it from her apartment, I think. And I'm going to say that she wouldn't bring her, she didn't bring her laptop. I think her laptop's back in the apartment. She'd probably do it from there. Okay. And that's certainly possible. So what? You over guys a, over our landline, sure. so specifically not over Wi Fi. I okay. guess is the point I'm trying to make. What you guys have is about the extent of the information you will find, except for Maya, who could probably do some digging with the the database access that she has with some of these individuals. Um, but it's gonna uh, I guess you could do it tonight if you're gonna burn the midnight oil and in fact when the google search searches come up empty yeah and we've had a bite to eat she's going to pack it in early and say i'm going to go back to my apartment and see what i can find out about these people okay on the in the database so she you know whether it's nine or ten or whatever and she'll spend a couple of hours she's not going to stay up all night but she'll you know she'll stay up till one in the morning yeah. um researching this stuff okay all right minyan what are you doing uh, I'm going to spend the night trying to remember all of the stuff that happened 20 years ago, um, that I've been repressing, uh, specifically when I stare at, uh, um, Abigail Wright's name. Uh, I almost feel like this might be the vindication that I've been looking for. Because I've resolved that after burning the building down, that all these people were lost or dead or 
you know, who knows what resigned to some strange fate. Um, so wouldn't uh, that involve is... reading your own books? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? And actually reading them and accepting that it's not fiction. So, okay. Uh, but that's it. I'm just, uh, that's where I think his headspace is. All right. Mantillo, what are you doing? So I think having exhausted the, uh, the internet search stuff, um, she's going to, uh, she's going to ride her bike for about two or three hours. She's going to head out to the Western mass and, uh, just do a big circle, get back maybe around midnight or so, um, probably hit the, uh, hit, hit, hit a, hit the few of those roads a little bit faster than she ought to. Um, and then when she gets back in, she'll spend another hour, um, just really meticulously cleaning the bike and, uh, getting, getting everything back up to, you know, tightening all the bolts and all that kind kind of stuff. And, uh, try to get herself just so exhausted that she could actually sleep. Okay. Uh, something comes to mind with Mantio. I wonder if I can find this. I just envision this uh, this song that comes up when she's talking about. So, you, are you taking a, a look down a westbound road? Is that what you're doing? That's not a song I know. <laughs> right, right away, you made your choice. You could go east, you could go west. But you're tired of your own voice. Just totally I'm smart. hearing that you're you're uh, repeating a song lyric. Not a Bob so. Seeger fan. Uh, I'm sure it's a song I know because I've got it, but yeah, it's not it's not getting there. Yeah, you better Google up <laughs> "Roll Me Away," man. Okay, it's a good one. I'll do that. <laughs> It's a clue. We need silver bullets because there's a werewolf. There's a werewolf, that's, exactly. That's the clue. So I have one other thing. Um, again, it, it may not uh, be anything, but the exemplar, hmm. uh, the one thing that's been bothering me the whole time is that there was the, the person seal on it. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why. So I've two sessions now i stare at this the whole time while we're playing i literally am staring at this thing and wondering why there's a person thing on it so i would have to assume that jerry keeps staring at it once in a while and is wondering you know what kind of run-in he's going to have with this person um i have to assume that n my occult is not going to have anything to do with this letter and the person thing well you so there's know nothing i read you know about person and that that's yeah. i mean the the occult knowledge gives you the understanding of what that symbol is yeah so he's he's exhausted that he knows all of that right. stuff why um, it's on the exemplar you're, you don't know yeah yeah that's I have no idea perplexing you for sure but that is yeah that is constantly in his brain okay so. uh maya you go home to your apartment and you log in to your laptop pull it up it's too bad it's not 1995 you know could use some 56k uh nope <laughs> 28 8 internet speeds some, some no. <laughs> bong, bong. <laughs> none of that nope. yeah. she is just she's jacked into probably a cat 5 not a cat 5e e or a cat 6 well right cat five cable. yes the good old days of Cat 5, just straight, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Eight yeah. twisted pair. Got it. Straight into the wall. Um, and the things that you come up with through the database um, are under, for T. How. so it takes you a little while to kind of futz through everything, but you find these details. So it says T. How the first entry, and it's, you you gather this info. Former FBI Special Agent Thomas Howe, Chinese-American man, age 39. 
Leela Mack, former Air Force and NSA information systems specialist. And I could get you this info, too, if you don't want to write it all down. That would be great. That would be awesome. I would be more than happy to do that. Leela Mack, former Air Force, and and this is just so you guys can digest it, former Air Force and NSA information systems specialist, Caucasian woman, age 28. Kim Plaslad, uh, former FBI agent, Caucasian woman, age 37. Roy, uh, Ray Billabas, former Army officer, African-American man, age 46. I think I missed one. Yeah. Alvin, Alvin Sombi, uh, former Canadian EPA agent, 45 uh, Caucasian, 45 years, or age 45. We used to have one of those. You used to have one of those? Yeah, EPA, Canadian oh. agent. Yeah. I don't know if you would have known that. Probably not. No? Well, actually, I don't, I think he probably said something at one point. He yeah, was, he was always like, water, hey. Water air tester. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so you're going to share share about Trump? I will share all this. And then the last one is Toman F. Uh, Pratoth, former DEA agent, Caucasian man, age 49. So from a first glance, from these names and, and details, none of these appear to have surprised you. Like they fit a profile of a recruit. Of for, an agent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. This make, I mean, you're not getting like social media YouTuber, you know, right? <laughs> or you know, none of them were anything like Jerry author. Gladstone. When did none of them were like Jerry Gladstone no. at all? She al- <laughs> but she also doesn't get that, like, like for example, the FBI agents work together, or two of them work together on some joint task force with the USAF or something like that, right? No. Okay. Not no. Um, there are also a couple other things that are appended to their file. When you bring it up to include, um, let's see, uh, on when you do the search, there is like this phrase that comes up on a couple of them, not all of them, but a couple of them. And it says in the red, wet inside of men is where all hate sleeps. Violence is what frees it. That's like a note on each on some of the records. Yeah. On on the first three records. Is there any way to tell when that entry was edited, added, and by whom? It, it's not from the search that you're doing currently. Yeah. Could take some time, maybe find out, but it's it would be odd that it's in there at all. So she's going to do some sort of export to PDF type action. Okay. So she can show these things to her two companions when she's offline. Okay. Cool. Mm, that's not that that last piece didn't help her sleep. I'll say that. Sure. In the red, wet inside of men is where all hate sleeps. Violence is what frees them. Freeze it. I'm sorry. So I think this is a good point to stop. Because the next step, I would imagine, unless you guys tell me differently, is if you're going to go to the hospital, the facility. Yeah, go to the hospital. Yeah. Okay. And from now until the visitation of the hospital, nothing happens. That's I call that a success. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No sanity checks? Success. This has been a Litterbox Studio production. production.